You're here in a new scene, there's not really much to look at, but if you right click, you can see that your crosshair disappears and you can, while holding right click, look around with your camera. You can then use WASD to fly around like you would do in a, in a video game, while still holding right click. If you want to go faster, you hold shift and you go a lot faster. If you want to change how fast you go, you go to edit, preferences, and you can see here camera speed normal and camera speed fast. If you have a prefab selected, you can press F to focus on that prefab. So if you have a massive project and you know exactly what you want, you can click on this. You can select it and press F and it will focus on it. If you're in the hierarchy list, you can also just click on this uh, photo camera and it will also focus on it. You can use C to go down and you can use space to go up. Of course, in combination with all those under buttons. And the same uh, speed boost with shift is true with the space and the uh, C. You can use scroll to go to zoom in and out. Um, I don't really use that. I normally just fly in because it's faster. Uh, but yeah, you can scroll. Lastly, um, this is military tunnel, by the way. Lastly, um, if you are, for example, in some area where it's a little bit dark and harder to see something, you can press L. Um, well, here it doesn't make a lot of difference. But uh, if you press L, it lights up everything a little bit, um, making it a little bit easier to see in some areas. And that's basically all the movement you can do. So in the next video, we're going to be talking about creating a new map and what kind of settings you should be looking for. So see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this beginners to advanced Rust edit course. There will be a link in the description to the playlist that has all the videos that are currently in the playlist available. And if I helped you out in any way, please consider liking and subscribing. I'm out. Peace.